What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Murph. Today we're going to talk a little bit here about the Crate Dragon Raid. So what I wanted to do today is we just had the Crate Dragon Raid go live yesterday in my guild and I wanted to pop in and kind of show you guys where I'm at with the raid itself, what I'm currently doing as well, you know, like what teams I'm using, what teams you can invest in, um, you know, what's going to kind of get you the best bang for your buck and what what I personally enjoy doing from like a fun perspective. So the first thing is uh, while I'm working towards executor and Java, one of the requirements is going to be Boba Fett. Boba Fett at a high relic level. As you can see, he is relic level eight. Now, what you do is once you have your Boba Fett up to rank eight, this is a very, very easy slam dunk way for you to get 180,000 points in the raid. Uh, it's required for the executor. You're going to want to have him there anyways so you can get your executor. And uh, all it is is essentially you're going to have to discard retry a handful of times. Sometimes you get it first try. Sometimes it takes like 10 tries to get it. But what you're essentially doing is you're you're going on the highest difficulty level possible, difficulty 6, with your Relic 8 Boba Fett. And you're just going to keep going until uh, eventually your RNG wins out. You do not get stunned during this first kind of turn or this first set of turns from the crate dragon and as long as you don't get stunned We might be good here. Yep. There we go. You're just gonna aoe everything with your special ability and bang He's gonna get eaten. It's gonna be over but you have a hundred eighty thousand free points right there easy done good to go now Let's go ahead and claim some tokens real quick after that uh, what I like to do afterwards is I will go through and I will use my, where are we at? Hold on. I guess we, we got to go all the way back down to our base difficulty and let's go ahead and use our Jawa team. So Jawas, this team uh, is not amazing. It's not going to be great for any other game mode, uh, but what it is good for is uh, a fast, and cheap way to get 200 to 300,000 points in the crate dragon raid at the lowest difficulty setting. Um, all of my Jawas are gear 11 and they're all seven stars with the exception of Jawa, like just Jawa. He's at five stars. I have to farm him and I, I'm, I'm slowly farming him, but you know, my, my one refresh a day. Uh, but essentially the trick with this team is just to survive as long as possible. Some of the RNG is going to be included. Is going to be um, like who uh, Chief Nebit is going to be calling to assist. Um, how many thermal detonators you're able to actually apply on the crate dragon. And what's going to happen is, as you can see here, he's going to attack my whole team. And when he attacks my whole team, he's going to proc the special from uh, I forget if it's Scavenger or which one it is. Uh, but they're going to put thermal detonators on the crate dragon. Now, the thermal detonators themselves are not going to be dealing a ton of damage. But what is going to be dealing a ton of damage? is our attacks from our other Jawas specifically. Um, I forget which one it is. Hold on a second. We'll come back around to them in a minute. Uh, but essentially, here we are. Uh, it is the regular Jawa. So what he does is his basic attack does 35% more damage to enemies suffering from a negative status effect. Um, essentially, the, the more... The more thermal detonators get stacked up on the crate dragon, the more damage he takes from all your characters in general. So it's not necessarily about the fact that he's taking the actual damage from the crate or from the, the thermal detonators detonating on the crate dragon's turn. It's the more thermal detonators and debuffs we get on him, the more damage we do in general. Now I'm going to ignore all the bombs and just deal direct damage through and hopefully knock him out of here fairly quickly. And there he is. That is good. We're just going to keep on going. So some of the RNG that can happen here is if your Jawa, like regular Jawa, the one that just attacked, if he dies, uh, you're going to be losing a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, same thing with Chief Nevit. You really want Chief Nevit there in order to reduce cooldowns and to keep calling assists. And then your Scavenger does a little bit in the sense that uh, you can heal you can um provide turn meter to everybody he's kind of your uh your harpoon dummy if you need one if you lose him it's not that big of a deal but um 
Yeah, pretty much if Chief Nevit or your regular Jawa dies, just restart it and that's gonna be that's gonna be the way it has to go. But that is the way it has to go. I don't know. I'm brain dead. I can't speak properly. Let's see if we can get him out of here. The one downside is 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 if the crate dragon swallows the wrong character late on in the battle like that, you're just straight up not gonna be able to break him out. But as you can see, we got 238,000 points there. If I wanted to keep restarting and retrying, um, I could push out 300k with this team. But typically, you're gonna see anywhere from like 220 to 300k once you have the whole team at gear 11, very consistently. Um, and if you really want to push for 300,000, you're gonna have to reset it, try it a few times, and get RNG to really fall in your favor the right way. But right now, we don't really care about that. Um, where the guild is at right now is we're currently hitting 25 mil every single crate dragon. Uh, and once you get to 25 mil, I'll hop into the rewards real quick just to show you. Once you start hitting that 25 mil reward box, the next one is 90 mil. So just for perspective, that's like on average for the 25 mil, if you have a 50 man guild, everybody needs to be able to do 500k damage in the raid. Uh, the 90 mil, everybody's got to do, I think it's like 800. I don't know. Let me, quick maths. Uh, Cal. Nine. Come on. There we go. 90 divided by 50. Uh, 1.8 mil, not 800K. I'm an idiot. Uh, stay in school, kids. Yeah, so basically you're expecting everybody to jump up from 500K damage to 1.8 mil damage each. Um, so kind of once you hit that 25 mil mark, you're you're really chilling until the majority of your guild has um, a lot of the meta teams like Java and whatnot. As you can see, we're almost top 10 already with just two battles in. And the next one we're going to go ahead and do is my personal favorite so far that I have. And it's going to be our Genonite Revan team for Old Republic. And there may be better combos to use than these guys. But honestly, I, I think this is personally the way I... I, I don't feel like divert, or diverting resources into building anybody else like Juhani or... Uh, Kandorus Ordo, which Kandorus Ordo really is going to be on a Mandalorian team anyways, um, or Cartho Nassi for that matter. But what we're going to end up doing is basically just kind of abusing the assist from Mission Vow. Um, I'm actually going to give her offense up here, even though I'm really supposed to be calling Zalbar to assist because Zalbar can apply his uh, damage over time. And then Mission is going to consistently get called to assist Zalbar and we'll be able to apply more damage over time. But that is essentially what's gonna happen with this team is you're just gonna be going through and it's not abusing because it's the way the mechanic is intended to work, but you're basically just gonna be calling Zalbar to assist who will be in turn calling uh, Mission to assist as well. So let's go ahead and harpoon with Jolie. Again, with this team, you really only want Jolie to be the one harpooning the enemy because everybody else on this team is going to be able to deal massive damage to the great dragon itself and again we'll call zalbar to assist calling mission to assist we're already at 100k damage so we're looking we're looking pretty good we got a um another burrow here we should be able to just keep pushing through and pop him up out of the ground without having to detonate everything else Ideally, come on. Let's go ahead and just call you to assist. There we go. Popped him up. And we are going again. We got offense up on mission. And this time, the spray should not uh, be cleansing her buffs, which is awesome. So let's see if we can't get some extra damage rolling in here with that. And I think we can drop some more mines with Jolie if we really have to. I don't think it's really going to be needed. But uh, mission just dropped there, which is not great. But honestly, it's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and call Basila to assist just to make sure that she gets some extra health. At this point, we really just have to stay alive. And I, I, I'm not going to hit 400k by any means. But uh, when you start going up the you know the uh the difficulty rankings as long as you're hitting like the maximum for the difficulty below you you're doing something right 
So like right now, 300k is the maximum for the actual the uh, the base difficulty, and we're one tier up from that. So really, anything over 300k is is a W for us for all intents and purposes here. At least that's the way that I like to look at it. Um, what am I doing? I got to I gotta hit him with a ballista. There we go. And actually, we might be able to max this out here. It's looking fairly good for us, unless this one shots us here, uh, which it <laughs> almost does. But we should be able to. Interesting. Revan's apparently not able to attack off his focus. I thought he was able to. Hmm. All right. Well. Yeah, that's going to be all she wrote. Which is fine. We got three hundred eighty thousand out of four hundred fifty thousand. So we, I think we could have pushed a little higher. Again, had I wanted to reset and keep playing with it, why do I keep doing that? Um, I don't know why I keep exiting out at the raid. Whatever. Anyways, we'll go back down to the base difficulty. And this one is not my favorite team in the world, but we do have a little bit of synergy between everybody here. Um, essentially what I do with this team is this is kind of a, a chop together, um, hut cartel slash Mandalorian team, I guess it's not great. Actually, can we push Greedo to gear 12? No. Okay. I thought we had, I, I think we had the gear for it earlier and we used it on something else. Um, essentially this is just kind of a catch all team because this is really the only other characters I have that are going to be able to deal any damage in the raid, but it is kind of nice because between both Greedo and Cad Bane we have a decent amount of turn meter removal so we can kind of abuse that throughout this and I usually pull a, a little over 100k so nothing too crazy but that's kind of the benchmark we're looking for here as you can see we're able to get the turn meter removal off of Cad Bane but not off of Greedo and uh, between Django or Cad Bane, we really just want one of them to be kind of our assist spam here. And I've, I, if I remember right, it's about a thousand damage difference with my Relic 1 Cad Bane and my Relic 1 Django right now, where Cad Bane is actually dealing a little more damage than Django is. So I'm, I'm really using him to call the assists. And he's pretty much got like a, it seems like he always crits. Um, and it, I think his crit damage is for some reason higher than Django's. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have to double check my mods for. Uh, whatever reason, but um, I would really, really like to get my Greedo up in the near future just so that I'm actually able to deal a decent amount of damage because Greedo's great for this in the sense that he's able to remove turn meter the same way that Cad Bane is, but where Greedo's really gonna uh, earn his place on this team is essentially when he's able to just basic attack like machine gun spam chain attack um where he basically calls himself to assist and yeah we're just not there yet like he's i think i still have like one or two abilities that need to be maxed on him if i remember right i should remember that because i literally just looked at it but my memory is shit and i wasn't paying attention um okay we failed turn meter removal there And one of the other kind of cool things with this team is with Beskar Armor Mando, we're able to drop immunity on different characters. So if there's like a key character like Greedo or Cad Bane that is low and we need to make sure that they're able to survive, you know, the next Acid Breath or whatever else, we can just go ahead and use that immunity from Beskar Armor Mando and throw it on that character to make sure that they do in, in fact survive. And it actually does let us survive through the Enrage a little bit, although it's not game breaking. Um, and the team itself isn't really all that great in the sense that, you know, even if we're able to tank through the Enrage a little bit, we're still not putting out, you know, a crazy amount of damage like some of these other teams. We're kind of just surviving for as long as we can. And here we go. We got Beskar Armor Mando, got Swallowed. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop the Harpoons with uh, the Mandalorian here. Get them out of there. We got acid spray on the next attack. So what I do want to do is I would like to just make sure that I've got Cad Bane saved here because he's kind of, uh, in my opinion, the most important one on this team. We'll keep AoEing here. 
There we go. Couple of bonus attacks from Greedo there. And I, I guess maybe that immunity was given out a little too early because we actually went again before it was off. Um, or before the Great Dragon went off, rather. So it actually fell off before he uses ability, which is fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. We'll go ahead and pop the, the bombs, get him out of there. Good. Uh, we'll keep attacking here and see if we can get some more bombs dropped with the Mandalorian or landmines, rather. Get some turn meter removal. That's phenomenal, actually, that it actually went through. And one of these is going to, probably the next acid spray, I would assume, is going to absolutely destroy us. So let's see if maybe this immunity will work. Probably not because he's about to go, but whatever. Again, we're kind of just demoing teams here, not really looking for the highest score imaginable. Uh, great, more turn meter removal. That is actually awesome for us. And this should be it right here. Crate Dragon should go and most likely KO the entire team, right? Almost, not quite. Okay, cool. Well, we're good to go for basically one more round here. So I'm going to go ahead and AoE all of these, get a little more damage down. He swallowed Django, that's good. That double swallow, obviously. Uh, which means that's going to be all she wrote for this one here. Cad Bane should go down. Eh, interesting. Um, yeah, there it is. Cool, 160 damage. It's actually a little higher than I typically get with that team. So that is where we're at, and that's where we're going to end this video at. So we are just short of a million damage in the Crate Dragon raid. I do have one more team I could use out of scraps, but on, honestly, like this, it's going to be over in a second. I'm only going to deal like maybe five or ten thousand points to the great dragon so it's really not uh not anything to write home about what i would really really like to do is get my tuscans online in the next month or so that will give me a fifth team and if i don't do that then maybe what i do is i just beef up the rest of my hut cartel and mandalorian so i can run both of those teams together uh, because ultimately I, the only reason i'm kind of hesitant on that is because i don't have a um, I don't have a mall yet in order to run Mandalorians with, but this is where I'm at now. And yeah, it, next, next kind of focus for the raid on, on my main account here is going to be Tuscan Raiders on my alt. I'm actually working on building up the Jawa since it's such a quick and easy farm. Um, I have not fully committed to building them yet, but I, they're kind of like the next team up after Geonosians. So anyways, how are you guys doing in the raid? What's your favorite team to use? Let me know what you guys are working on down in the comments. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.